How's it going guys? It's Nathan made the DIY garage and today we're going to show you how to open up a broken or stuck hood latch on a BMW E46. Okay, so we're going to make this video. I thought I already had this video up, but I don't. And probably three people in the last few days said, hey, our hood latch is broke on our E46. Can you please make a video how to open it? So here we are. Okay, so there's a couple different things, a couple different ways it could break. There's several different points to it. You have a hood latch on the passenger side. You have a hood latch on the driver's side. On the bottom of the hood, you have these posts. Hold on a second here, here we go. You have these posts that go down in the holes. You have one there, you have one there. And then you have the secondary latch, which is right there, which goes to the lever up here on the top. So when you pop the hood, you pull the lever and it opens the hood, okay? That's basic operation. Um, so we have actually three cables to the system. We have a short cable that runs from this latch, the passenger side, that runs under this metal uh, radiator support to this latch. We have another cable that runs out of here, which you can see right there, and it runs up to this little junction box. So this junction box actually comes open. I don't think I could do it with one hand. I'll get a screwdriver and we'll pop it here in a second. It goes in that junction box with a lead slug. It has a little thing that hooks them together and it goes out. Then it goes up and then it runs into the car to the kick panel for the lash you pull to open the hood. Okay, so we're back. We've got a few parts dug out here to better show you what's going on. So with these hood latches, we have one here that's taken out of the car. This is actually a E39 hood latch. I think they're the same or very close to the same. I think they are the same. Um, so on the bottom of the hood latch, we have this. So this obviously is a part that you see. On the bottom, we have two little holes. They're all dirty already, look at that. Two little holes. Um, we have one hole for the cable going this way one hole for the cable going to the passenger side latch. You can see on this one, this one is actually broken. A little focus. You can see it's actually sheared off right there. That's a real common problem. That'll make the hood not open. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do, you have to go in through the grill. So let me go and put this up here out of the way. I'm gonna close this down a little bit so you can see. So the grill, you're gonna to have to pull out. Well, the problem with pulling the grill out is 90% of the time they snap off, they get old and brittle, they're just plastic. You're gonna to have to reach in there, you're gonna to have to pull it out. That way you could actually get into the hole and work on this latch. So once you're out, E46 has a ugly little trick. It has a piece of plastic over here, but the piece of plastic is attached to the whole front radiator shroud. Now, this car has electric fan on the inside. Some cars will have electric fan on the outside. Depends on if it has a fan clutch. Depends on what year, make, and model exactly it is. Okay, with that being said, you're gonna want to take the grill out. Obviously, you can't open up the hood. You're gonna wanna take a razor knife and you're gonna wanna trim like right here and right here. And there'll be a little square of plastic will come out, okay? Once you get that out, there is another piece of plastic. You see another layer back here. And you're gonna have to take a screwdriver, push up in there and pull down on that. You might be able to take a razor knife, trim it out too. It depends on how easy of access you wanna to get to it. Um, so after you get that done, you're gonna take a screwdriver and you're going to go into the bottom of this thing and you're going to actuate it and that's going to release it. Now that's if this is the side that has a problem. Now, if it's not the side that had the problem and it's the passenger side that has the issue, I would still go into the driver's side because what's gonna happen here, it's gonna be probably more than likely broke on one of the side of, of this, on this latch. So once you get the plastic out of the way, you go ahead and find the cable, as you can see here, but there's one going under that metal you could actually pull the cable by hand and unlatch this one. Okay, so that'll get the hood open if you're broke up here or up here. Now, here's another situation. 
Now, even if it's broke up here, you can still get the hood open by doing that. Uh, you have to pull both of them. You have to flip this one. If it's still hooked up, in theory, it should pull that one. Uh, a lot of times the problem is, is this little box right here. And I just popped it open using my little thing here and popped it open. Be careful not to pop it off of the car. It's just snapped onto the car. And once we're inside, you can see the little slugs. So I'll focus for you. You see the little trap door it has two little slugs there and they go into this little carrier. You know, obviously one goes out, come on. One goes out to the latch up here. The other one goes up inside the car, okay? And something very important, if you open this to look, make damn sure that you get it snapped all the way back shut. Because if you do not, you know, make sure they're all the way latched. So you can see right there. If you're having a problem with those latching, they're wanting to pop open, you need to replace that little carrier. If you don't replace it, you're gonna close the hood, you're gonna try to pull the latch, and it's gonna pop the cables out of that box and your hood's stuck closed. Now, probably the most common, well, I don't wanna say the most common problem, but a very common problem is breaking it off the latch on the handle, okay? So once you do that, uh, a lot of times, you can go and take the little Phillips screw out and you can see it in there or not. I'll turn the light on for you. All right, so the light on, you can probably see it up in there. There's a Phillips screw. Sometimes it's a star bit, depends on what it's, what year it's on. You could take that out, you could take the handle off, you could pull with pliers and pull the hood open. Now obviously to fix that, you're gonna have to pull this whole kick panel out. Once you pull the kick panel out, you can come back out here and what you're gonna do, you're gonna lash the box, and then when you go to replace the cable with a new one, you can just pull it out. You can see it goes in through this little metal piece here. You pull this wiring harness up and out of there, and then the cable comes out. Then you can just basically pull it out of the car, and then you can fish a new one in. You might have to remove this box if it's in your way to get a little more room, but that's how you replace the inner hood cable. Yeah, guys, that's it. I feel like I talked for an hour and a half doing this, but that's every aspect of being able to get this thing open without damaging the hood. There's a real lack of videos out there on opening BMW hoods once the latch breaks, and that's a pretty common problem, especially if you never lube the cables. Um, a good dry silicone. A lot of guys use grease to lube the cables. I wouldn't do that. If you use grease to lube those cables, it's going to get dirty. When it's super cold outside, it'll actually get frozen and it will break your hood cable. So that's all for today's video, guys. If you like today's video, leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up, you know, share, and at very last, do not forget to subscribe. That's it. Thanks for watching.